We co-evolve with our tools. We change our tools, and then our tools change us. Certainly, the book has probably changed us more than any other tool. For 500 years, it's been this incredibly important tool for humanity. Books are the foundation of civilization. You walk into someone's house, what's the first thing you look at as a, a literate human being? You look at their library. This can sound romantic, but the feel of a book, the, the, the texture of the paper, even its smell, they are the best way of preserving information ever invented. But in the digital age, we really have to start questioning what a book really is, because they will soon cease to exist in large part. <laughs> Technological changes are transforming the world of words. The very nature of information and the way in which it's presented is changing, and it's, it's certainly an exciting time. This generation will still be attached, but a couple of generations down may not even know what a book is. Is the experience of sitting down and reading an entire book disappearing? I have some questions. Do I think that people read full books now? No. You know, unless it's a Danielle Steele novel that you're reading on the beach, I think it's actually kind of rare that people read a full book. The danger is that there's a possibility that we are now starting to read at a more surface level rather than in depth. Our children, I think, are lurching from one entertaining piece of information to the next. They aren't learning how to think. Every aspect of the written world has changed, from publishing to writing to selling and to reading. If books are the foundation of society, how does that change the world of ideas? And how does it change us? At some point in that mysterious afternoon, someplace in the deserts of Mesopotamia, somebody realized that they could set down a code that could be deciphered, and thereby invented reading, and thereby invented writing, and thereby invented uh, Hamlet and Alice in Wonderland and all our literatures and imaginary creations. Writing was not invented to transmit literature, nor was it invented to write letters. Writing began as an administrative technology, as a bureaucratic technology, that was one of the solutions to the problem of urban density and complexity. This is one of our most famous scrolls that charted the life and ancestry of Christ. Of course, it starts with Adam and Eve. We had scrolls, and people thought, oh, we can get so much information here in a single scroll. It can take up to 60, sometimes 80 scrolls to do a small size book. You can only roll up so much material. And then people realized you couldn't get information at the end of a scroll without unrolling the whole thing. And so they started chopping it up and making codexes, the precursor to books. The codex is just the book as we know it. It's a wonderful invention, but it was new around the time of the birth of Christ. It was actually connected with the spread of Christianity because Christian writings spread through this new machine, the Codex, and it spread like wildfire. Of course, the invention of movable type is a great breakthrough. 